First and foremost, want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Yahweh Dash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, the great millstone, Salawam, to the sincere brethren out there pushing this word, and to you sincere listeners. Just want to go into a quick lesson, which I'm going to entitle it, uh, God Does Not Love All Nations. And, you know, I just want to go into this, uh, you know, I had a run in, just bug out that, you know, typically comes by the camp, you know, he's, he's a so-called Christian, but he's, you know, on that, that Christian juice tough. And these Christians believe, really believe that the Heavenly Father, you know, is dealing with all nations and that he looks out and loves everybody down here upon the earth, regardless of what nation you come from. He wants all these people to come to him and, and you know, worship him and follow his ways. You know, and I was just thinking about what's going on right now, which is further proof that the Most High is not dealing with all nations down here upon the earth. You know, and the situation I'm speaking about is what's going on out there in Palestine right now. Now, if the Most High cared for all nations, all nations, and He loved all nations, why isn't He going down and helping uh, the Palestinians? Why isn't He trying to deliver them with all those rockets that them uh, 1948ers are shooting on them? He, he he's not blocking near one of them. You know, and I'm pretty sure there are some, you know, Christian. Uh, Palestinians, you know, and if there aren't any, if it's the will of the Heavenly Father to have all these nations, you know, come to him and, and, and you know, uh, accept his son so they can be accepted by the Heavenly Father, why isn't the Most High doing anything? Why isn't some miracle happening out there to, to show <laughs> to these Palestinians, man, that the Most High wants them to be down with his program? The reason why things like that aren't happening is because the Most High ain't dealing with all nations. You know? The Most High is only dealing with one nation, and that's the nation of Israel. Which the Most High has done, you know, great things for those people, man. He delivered us out of the hands of the Egyptians. Now, if the Most High wants everybody to worship him, and he wants everybody to be on the same page as his people, why isn't he delivering the, the Palestinians, man? Why doesn't he come down and, you know, have some supernatural things happen to show the whole world and mainly the Palestinians that he wants them to worship him, man? That's because the Most High is not dealing with any other nation outside of the nation of Israel. This is Isaiah 40 and 15. It says, Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are, ca and, and are counted as the small dust of the balance. See, the Most High don't care about you other nations, man. And he shows it time and time again. Now, if this was the nation of Israel, the Most High would have, you know, a, a problem with what's going on. You know, the Most High would, would look out for him. The Most High would send prophets to him to explain to him why these things are happening to him if it was a, a punishment. But you don't see none of that going on out there. You know, you don't see anything supernatural happen or uh, happening. And you don't see any prophets being risen up to, you know, explain to the people what's going on and telling them to repent. You don't see that happening, man. <laughs> Why? Because the Most High looks at these nations as something that's insignificant. It says, Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as the small dust of the balance. And a balance is an old, you know, uh, uh, scale. Just like you see when you go to courthouses, you'll see, you know, uh, supposedly Lady Justice, and she'll have the scales in her hand, holding the scales up. Well, that's the old way, you know, uh, they used to measure things, you know, measure the weight. So you would put something on, on one end and you would use that as the, uh, you know, the base for the weight that you wanted to measure. And then you would balance the scale out by putting, you know, the equivalent amount of that on the other side until the, the weight is even. Now, when you do that, sometimes there's dust on, on, the, on the scale. You're not going to wipe that dust off to get a more accurate uh, measurement of weight, you're going to leave that dust on there because the dust is insignificant. And that's how Yahweh Yahweh Shai views you other nations, as something that's insignificant. That's the reason why he ain't helping them Palestinians out, man. If God loved everybody, wouldn't he come down and, and, and save everybody from, you know, oppression? Or wouldn't he at least tell them, you know, uh, how to get right in his eyes so he can, he can come down and help them? You don't see none of that going on, man. Meanwhile, amongst the nation of Israel, Yahweh Shai has raised up prophets to explain to you so-called 
um, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans why you're in the situation that you're in and how to get out of it. Okay? Come back to your Yahweh Shemi Yahweh That's the message that the Heavenly Father has sent unto you because the Most High is dealing with you. It says, Behold, he taketh up the isles as a very little thing so that the islands are insignificant in the sight of the Heavenly Father. You got these huge continents down here upon the earth that's the main thing that the Most High is focused on. And you other nations, you like the islands that's out in the ocean, man. The Most High ain't really checking for that. You know? They're not a major thing in his eyes. Okay? And the nation of Israel, we're the continents, man. We're the most important thing to the Heavenly Father down here upon the earth when it comes to nations. Verse 16, it says, And Lebanon is not sufficient to burn, nor the beast thereof sufficient for a burnt offering. So all you nations, man, you, you can go to Lebanon, you can cut down all the trees, and you can you can gather all the clean beasts that's there, and you can offer that to the Heavenly Father. He's still not going to acknowledge you. That's how insignificant you are in the sight of the Heavenly Father. Verse 17, it says, all nations before him are as nothing. And when you break this word nothing down, it literally means a no thing. You you really don't exist to the Heavenly Father. You, you ain't on the most high's radar, man. You know, the Most High is not saying in his mind, oh, you know, oh, the, you know, these people down here, I wonder what they're going through. You know, let me go check upon them and visit them. You know, let me go talk to them and see how they doing. The Most High don't care about you other nations, man. Or you would have seen something be done. You know, and not only to, you know, the Palestinians, these other nations that's going through hell down here upon the earth, man. Why he ain't visit the Ethiopians and tell them, okay, look, if you want to stop starving, you got to do this. So I can give you food. You, you have not seen that happen, man. Meanwhile, the Most High has sent forth his prophets to the nation of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Because we are a thing in the sight of the Heavenly Father. The Most High acknowledges us. It says, all nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing in vanity. And that word vanity, when you look it up, it means worthless, man. You literally have no worth <laughs> in the sight of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. So why would the Most High want you to be a part of his program when he looks at you like you're not worth anything? You know? The only nation that actually matters that's worth something in the sight of the Heavenly Father is the nation of Israel. Which, what does the Most High consider the nation of Israel? So let me get a quick precept. This is Deuteronomy 7 and 6. It says, For thou art an holy people unto the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, thy power. The Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, thy power, hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. And when you look up this word special in the Hebrew, the definition there is, is a treasure. So what, the nation of Israel is like a treasure to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. You know, you read in the book of Malachi, you know, it talks about when the Most High is going to deliver the Israelites, and he calls the nation of Israel his jewels. Another thing that the Most High compares the nation of Israel to is gold and silver, man. Something that's precious. Meanwhile, you other nations, you, you're a common dirt that nobody cares about, man. You know, but if you see gold, silver, you see uh, jewels, you know, uh, uh, rare things that come from the earth, you're going to take notice of that. And you're going to pick it up and you're going to hold it a certain way, man. And that's how the nation of Israel is in the sight of Yahweh Shai. You other know, nations are nothing, man. And looking at, you know, what's going on in the world just proves it. The Most High has never visited you other nations with the prophets and told you to repent. That message is only to the nation of Israel. You know, after all the time that you other nations have been down here upon the earth, you know, all kind of things have been happening. The Most High never sent prophets to you and told you to repent, man. But you see it happening amongst you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which is just further proof that you are the Israelites and Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is dealing with you, man. Esau never had prophets uh, uh, be risen up to him and told him to repent, you know, when he was catching hell. This is uh, Sirach 17 and 17. It says, for in the division of the nations of the whole earth, he set a ruler over every people. And all you other nations, you got kings and rulers. All right? It says, but Israel is the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai's portion. So, really, the ruler of the nation of Israel is Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Even if there is a, a, a physical man that is set up over the nation of Israel, he has to rule according to the commandments of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, because the Most High is really the one that's in control, man. The Most High will set a certain leader up, but if he doesn't, 
follow the program of the Heavenly Father, the Most High gonna get rid of them. You know, and that's happened multiple times, uh, or, you know, within the nation of Israel. Yeah, wicked kings get set up. And the Most High didn't just let these kings uh, reign. He, he, he took them out of power and put them to death because they weren't following what he told them to do. Verse 18, it says, Whom being his firstborn, he nourisheth with discipline. Which that's us going through, you know, the curses, man. The Most High did that to us because he was disciplining us. He was, you know, showing us the difference between right and wrong. If we do wickedness, we're going to get punished. It says, Whom being his firstborn, he nourisheth with discipline, and giving him the light of his love, doth never forsake him. And even though we've been through, you know, pure hell down here upon the earth, multiple captivities, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai has never forsaken us, man. We ain't never going to find ourselves and have never found ourselves in the predicament that, you know, uh, uh, the Palestinians are going through or that the, the Ethiopians are going through, you know, or any of these other heathen nations down here upon the earth, man. It's just catching hell and there's nothing that they can do to get out of it, man. The Most High has always sent forth prophets, you know, to tell the nation of Israel what's getting ready to happen or, you know, explain to them why they're going through these certain things so they can get up out of the situation that they're in. It says, in giving him the light of his love, they'll never forsake him. Therefore, all their works are as the sun before him. Okay, compared to the, the, the vanity nations that's out here, man, the worthless nations. The nation of Israel, our works are as the sun before Yahweh Shem Yahweh So, what, what's going on amongst the nation of Israel, that's the first thing and really the only thing that the Heavenly Father sees, you know, because when you look up in the daytime and the sun is out, you can't see any stars, you know, that's that you have to focus on the sun. And that's the nation of Israel in the sight of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. It says none of their unrighteous deeds are hid from him, but all their sins are before the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. And that's the reason why we get punished so quickly, because the Heavenly Father is focus, focusing in on us. Verse 21, it says, But the Lord, Yahweh Shai, being gracious and knowing his workmanship, neither left nor forsook them, but spared them. And you see that going on now. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is put, putting his hand out, extending his uh, uh, mercy to the nation of Israel. The alms of a man is as a signal with him, and he will keep the good deeds of man as the apple of the eye, and give repentance to his sons and daughters. And who was who that talking about? The nation of Israel. That's why we're sent out to the highways and hedges to tell you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is going to have mercy on you if you turn back to him. You never see this message being uh, uh, brought out to any of these other nations, man. You don't even see him amongst the 1948ers. We're the prophets. We're the messengers of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Verse 23, it says, Afterwards, he will rise up and reward them and render their recompense upon their heads, those ones that don't turn back to him. But unto them that repent, he granted them return and comforted those that fell in patience. Return unto the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, and forsake thy sins. Make thy prayer before his face and offend less. And this is the message that goes out to the nation of Israel. Nobody's telling these other nations, you know, uh, to stop doing what they're doing and turn back to their old customs. No, no individual has been risen up amongst these other nations to tell them that, man. Because the Most High ain't dealing with these other people. It's the second Ezra 6 and 53. It says, Upon the sixth day thou gavest commandment upon the earth, that before thee it should bring forth beast, cattle, and creeping things. After these, Adam also, whom thou madest lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. And that's one argument that these Christians will use. Oh, we all come from Adam. We're all the same blood. You know? It says, And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all, and the people also.